Today, we're going dark and light academia, capsule wardrobe, sewing patterns that are also size inclusive. Hello lovelies, welcome to Amy of Melbourne. My name's Amy, obviously. And today we're gonna to be looking at dark academia, capsule wardrobe that is plus size inclusive. To be clear on all of this before we get into it, I'm not affiliated with any of these companies. I don't have any of my own patterns in this list. These are just patterns that I have found on the internet using the Kirby Sewing Database to help me find them, use that if you need to look for things. Um, and they are size inclusive. That's it. I just think that they're interesting and that they would be good to create that capsule wardrobe if that's something that you're looking for. So what is Dark Academia? According to Wikipedia and the internet, Dark Academia is an internet aesthetic and subculture concerned with higher education, the arts and literature, or an idealized version thereof. Yeah, I'm gonna be looking down at this a lot. We just, we all have to accept that and move on with our lives. Aesthetic is basically just a style that we put the word core on. If you're wondering what a core is, again, it's just a style. Like back in the day, you might have a goth style or a preppy style. These days we call it cores and aesthetics. It's just a different word. I don't know why we chose different words, but we did. Language moves on. This capsule wardrobe is a really, really great capsule wardrobe for someone in a professional environment that wants to be slightly more comfortable and a little bit cozy and express themselves while still actually looking professional. So how would we describe dark academia? Dark academia and light academia are very much about seeing the academic world, that tertiary education world, that elite world as something that you can aesthetically break down and introduce into your own life and enjoy that. It's also an appreciation of things like history and literature and science and learning in general, which I think is admirable. Um, and I like those, technically I like those parts of it. There are a few issues with dark academia and light academia, which I'd like to point out before we start getting into the patterns. People have an issue with dark and light academia because of the patriarchal symbolism of it as being part of an institution of higher education and also because of the classist elitist system of those higher education institutions. It takes a lot of its aesthetic from places like Eton and Brown and Harvard and places like that. And higher academic culture is connected with higher class money with racism and with the patriarchy that is absolutely all true i also think that as a style it's really interesting and really beautiful and has worth you need to understand both of those things and make a decision for yourself i totally understand that if you are from a minority group or if you are from um, a low socioeconomic background upbringing or if that's your circumstance now that this is a bunch of silliness and it is it 100% is. It's just the type of fashion that you might like and it might work for you. And if it doesn't, you leave it here. But absolutely, I would consider this type of clothing, particularly because these are patterns. You do what you want with them. These are a great one if you want a somewhat casual, semi-professional or even professional wardrobe and you want to make it yourself. These are some size inclusive patterns so that you can attain that for yourself. So let's get into the patterns. To clarify, because this is a size inclusive capsule wardrobe, all of the patterns have to have a minimum of a 55 inch hip measurement. To start the capsule wardrobe, we're gonna be looking at a blazer. You have to have a blazer for dark academia. It's, that is the essence of it really. For the blazer, I have gone with the Heather blazer from Friday Pattern Company. It's a cult classic, everyone loves it. It fits beautifully um, and it's made, like the pattern is drafted really, really well. In centimeters, it starts at an 86 and for centimeters, it goes all the way up to 160 centimeters in the hip. For inches, that means it goes from a 34 inch all the way up to a 63 inch. The next key essential for dark academia is what in Australia we call a skivvy, but in the rest of the world, I think that you call them turtleneck. For this skivvy or turtleneck, I've actually gone with a mock turtleneck because it's from Helen's Closet and it looks beautiful and it's drafted incredibly well, particularly as a size inclusive pattern, really considers the differences of sizes of the different parts of the body that we need to be considerate of. It's the Dawson top. It comes with three views. It comes with a low neckline, a regular crew neckline, and then a mock turtleneck neckline. It's very fitted. It comes with long sleeve and a three quarter sleeve, which is great. It's a really versatile and useful pattern to have in your collection. The next and 
Arguably, besides the blazer, the most important piece of a Dark Academia wardrobe is a shirt, a button-up or button-down shirt. I've got both, one button-up, one button-down. The difference between a button-up and a button-down, which I learned from Helen's Closet, actually, um, is that a button-down has the buttons on the actual collar, the ones that you button down, and then a button-up does not have those buttons on it. That's literally all the difference is. The difference in the ones that I've picked, the button-down is a far more fitted, version of a shirt and the button up is a more casual version of a shirt or a more boxy shaped version of a shirt. So for the more boxy casual shaped shirt, I have picked the Tarawi shirt from Muna and Broad. As you can see, you can make it with or without the actual shirt collar. It can just have the shirt stand, which is great. It's got a back yoke. It does not have bust shaping, which is fantastic if that's not something that you really want for your aesthetic and it does come in that more boxy shape. So it starts at 105 centimetre or 41.5 inch hip measurement and it goes all the way up to a 71.5 inch hip measurement or 182 centimetre hip measurement, which is fantastic. Really, really great size range. Um, but with them, it's really important to also know that if you happen to be above their size range, they will grade the patterns for you. So if you like this shirt or any of their other patterns and you need a size that is larger than what they currently have, they will grade it up for your measurements. So don't worry, they've got you covered. So for the fitted button down shirt, I've gone with the Harrison shirt from Cashmere. As with all Cashmere patterns, it comes with multiple cup sizes. So it has three cup sizes included, a CD, EF and GH. Cashmere also have two size bands. So in the larger size band, which is 12 to 32, they have a hip measurement that starts at a 42 inch hip and goes all the way up to a 62 inch hip. The Harrison shirt gets its shaping from multiple princess seam lines that it has through the shirt. Um, it also has a back yoke and it has seam lines up the back that are like princess seam lines. This gives it, you a lot of room to manipulate and change those particular sections, almost like a corset, to create a really great shape that's very fitted to your body if that's your style. Really helpful if some of these designers actually put the metric on there as where I zoom as well as the Imperial. I don't know if you know this, if you live in America, maybe you don't, but the entire rest of the world, every other country uses the metric system. Okay, just, just letting you know, it's more accurate, it's easier to use, it uses decimal places rather than fractions. Consider it. Another optional extra for a top pattern is a blouse. Specifically, a tie front blouse is very dark academia. And I'm gonna to recommend to you Fiber and Cloth Studio, who has a zero waist tie front um, pattern, which is called the Iris Blouse and Dress. Um, it's really gorgeous. And their size range, Okay, so their size range starts at a 30 inch or a 76 centimeter and goes all the way up to a 68 inch or 173 centimeter. So that's really fantastic. Um, the dress version is really flowy and that would also be very dark academia as well, but certainly the beautiful blouse. Um, and again, zero waist patterns, which we love. Next, we're moving to a long wool coat, like a duster. The coat that I've selected for this is the Romana coat by By Hand London. So according to By Hand London's sizing chart, um, their D cup dress sizes, which includes this coat, which is their larger sizes. They have a larger size bust um, or chest measurement um, or differential. Should I explain that? Do you want to know? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below if you want me to talk about how you work that out. But anyway, according to them in their D larger size range, they start from size 12, which is a hip of 42 inches or 106 centimeters. And then it goes up to a 34, 38, which is a 67 inch or 172 centimeter. I'm not sure though if this actual coat goes up to that size. Yeah, according to this, it does. Cool. The coat itself has two options. It has a single breast or a double breast option. Um, it has a really beautiful wide lapel. It has great style lines. I think it's really pretty. It has included pockets. It's a very long coat very warm princess seamed for extra shaping um, and it's a really great one to have in your collection i think i've said that a million times so that's the wool coat but also you need a trench coat and this one's even better than that because it's a trench coat and 
cape pattern, which is just chef's kiss beautiful. This pattern is from a designer that I'm not super familiar with. I've never made any of their patterns before, but it looks gorgeous. It is the Hemlock Coat and Cape Pattern by Gunner Deathridge. It comes with two views. It comes with your traditional trench coat, you know, like Burberry style. It has a beautiful cut across the, the back yoke. Um, and then it also comes with UV, which is a cape, and you can wear them together. It is stunning. Highly recommend you check out this pattern. In terms of the size range, it starts from a 46 inch hip and goes up to a 60 inch hip, particularly the cape. It is big wide flowing. That is a gorgeous top layering piece for any size. Next thing we're gonna be looking at is skirts. And there are two main types of skirts that are peak dark academia. is the basic mini skirt, which is a bit more A-line, and then also a pleated skirt, which can be both mini, short, midi, long, all the pleat skirtedness, goodness, everywhere, all the time, all the lengths. So for the basic mini skirt, I've gone with the Barkley skirt pattern by In The Folds. This actually has a lot of different lengths available in the pattern itself. It's drafted for multiple lengths. It has really great pockets on the side, um, which are probably big enough to put a book in them if you're super into the dark academia lifestyle. Um, so sizing for this pattern goes from the hip of a 33 inch up to the hip of a 72 and a half inch, which in metric, is 84 centimeters all the way up to a hip of 184 centimeters, which is absolutely brilliant. And now the pleated skirt, the epitome of the bottoms. I actually found this quite hard to find in extended sizing, though I will say there are a lot of online calculators for how to draft this yourself. I'm not so much interested in that. I wanna find you a pattern that has your full instructions and everything there that you can just print and go. For this, I've gone to Ellie and Mac, and Ellie and Mac have the adult high waist pleated skirt pattern. The pattern includes the skirt itself as well as shorts to wear under it, which is fantastic. The skirt is high waisted, it's meant to be sitting on your natural waistline. Um, it comes in two lengths it comes in a mid thigh length and above the knee length, which are both pretty short. But extending something like this isn't incredibly hard, you're just adding to the rectangle, really. So it starts at a 33 and a half inch and goes up to a 72 inch, which is brilliant um, in terms, and then in metric that is 85 centimeters all the way up to the max of 170 centimeters. So that's really fantastic. So now we're on to pants. For pants, the iconic, the most important pair of pants is a pleated front pant that tapers in towards the ankle. There is one, on seam work that I could include, um, but instead I chose to go with a smaller designer, but the seam work one is there. It's a very good one, check it out. The one that I went with is from Goldfinch Textile Studio. It is a zero to minimal waist PDF sewing pattern, which is brilliant, I love that. Um, and its measurements, its hip measurements start at a 33 inch and go up to 72, which is 83 up to 182 centimeters, which is fantastic. It has a double pleat at the front um, and it can be made in a lightweight fabric all the way through to a heavyweight fabric, which is really fantastic. In terms of other pant options, if you want something that doesn't have that pleated front and that's not something that makes you comfortable, but instead you're looking for something that's more of a slack pattern, I recommend going to Cashmere. They have one that has a adjustable waist, like elasticized but you can't see the elastic and it's it's all kinds of magic and mystery that goes on with those pants but they're absolutely brilliant um, highly recommend looking at those also if you don't like a tapered leg if you want a wide leg then you should look at Megan Nielsen and they have the flint yeah the flint pants and short which I think that I have and I need to make um, but that's a wide leg version it still has the pleated front but it's a wide leg version of the pant so pinafores are quite a big thing in the dark academia world. It's all about those layering pieces. And I have two pinafore patterns to talk about. The first pattern is from So Liberated and it is the, it's the studio tunic pattern. It's definitely a layering piece. It's far more of a straight up and down um, or maybe even A-line um, piece. It's definitely for layering. It needs to have something underneath it. Otherwise you're gonna be showing a lot, like a lot. Inches. 
Um, so Liberated starts at a 33.5 hip and goes up to a 61 hip. In centimetres, that's from an 85 up to a 155 hip. It has beautiful pockets on the front. It has um, shaping through the front centre. Uh, it comes with a V-neck or a scoop neck um, view. And it would be really easy to hack this and alter it and make it longer and change those sort of things about it. The other company I wanted to recommend is LB Textiles. And I struggled with this one just because they have a lot that would work for this. I was tossing up between the steel pinafore and the page dress, which has the buttons up the front, whereas the steel pinafore doesn't. I'm going to tell you about both. So the steel pinafore has a cross back. Um, it's more of an apron style pinafore, whereas the page dress has buttons down the front and it's more of that traditional pinafore style. As for LB Textiles size chart, they start from a 34 inch hip and they go up to a 60 inch hip. And I can't actually read the centimeters because it's all weird. Anyway, pretty good size range. I will say if you are looking for that genuinely traditional fitted pinafore style, almost like a vest, but longer. I could not find one. If you have a suggestion of where to find one of those sort of 60s, 70s style, um, then please put it in the comments below because it's something that I'm personally looking for, unless I end up just drafting one myself, maybe. And it's something that I think a lot of people really want to have in their wardrobe at the moment. It's another really important and core element of anything dark and light academia is having a vest. I've got two vest options for you. One of them has a lot more fitting and the other one less. The first one is a pattern that is on Etsy. So the company is called House of Bricks Design and it is the plus size vest E pattern historically inspired bodice Marie vest. The Marie vest comes in sizes 14 to 32, which is a full hip that starts at 42 inches or 108 centimeters and goes up to 62 inches or 157 centimeters. I think this is so stinking cute and it is historically inspired. I love most of all the back. It's got these beautiful pleats on the back, which just give a really lovely shape and almost Edwardian little flip out to the back. Um, it's it's adorable. It's also um, princess seam, so it's got a lot of options for moving and changing the shape to give you a really fitted vest, if that's what you're after. Okay, so for the boxier shaped straight vest, um, I'm going to suggest that you go to Pattern Scout and have a look at the birch vest. It still has a little bit of shaping. It still has the princess seams. It's just not quite as fully shaped as the other one. In terms of sizing, it has a full hip, which starts at a 35 inch and goes up to 60 inch, um, which is 89 centimeters up to 152 centimeters. So that's a pretty good size range. This is very much your classic vest 90s style with the V neck front, the V just at the bottom, like it is the classic vest. Okay. So last sewing pattern is a cardigan pattern. And this is one that I've made and I absolutely love this pattern. This is by Waves and Wild and this is the Salt Air cardigan. They have this cardigan, Waves and Wild, for children sizing and adults in both a straight and a curved fit. The curved fit has a hip measurement which starts at 33 inches and goes up to 63 inches. Uh, which is centimeters 84 to 160 centimeters, which is really fantastic. Again, I, I was actually one of the pattern testers for this pattern um, and they worked a lot on making sure that the hip measurement and how the curve fit certainly um, flares out to actually fit a curvy body um, was perfect. So I can definitely personally highly recommend this pattern. Just because we're finished with sewing patterns doesn't mean that I'm finished. I have a crochet and a knit pattern for you as well. For the knit pattern, we have traditional cable knit sweater. This is very dark academia, light academia. Um, and this one is by Petite Knit and it's called the Moby Sweater. It's available on Ravelry. I've got it linked down below like everything else. Okay, so for these um, yarn patterns, uh, they actually don't give a hip measurement. So I'm gonna give you the bust measurement. Um, so for the Moby Sweater, the bust measurement starts at a 110 centimeters or 30 and a half inches 
and goes up to 150 centimeters or 59 inches at the bust. So it's possible that this doesn't meet up to my expectations of hip measurements, but yeah, that was hard to find. I will admit that the, uh, the yarn world needs to step up in terms of size inclusivity, because yeah, there's problems there. As for the crochet pattern, it is a traditional V-neck vest pattern. This one's actually free. This one is from Karen, company Karen, which is Yarn Inspirations, and the Karen Adult Crochet V-neck Vest. Um, it comes in multiple sizes, though you can only download a certain size. So the sizing starts at a 28 inch bust. Again, it's bust, it's not hip, it's bust. Um, up to a 62 inch bust measurement. I have slightly more faith that this one would be one that would fit. I will say though, it is definitely a straight up and down boxy fit. It's not fitted, but in terms of how you do the arm size and the V-neck, it looks really, really lovely. It's got some beautiful cable crochet on all of those parts and the actual work across the main body itself is interesting. It's not just a basic treble, though I'm sure that if once you have cracked the code of this, that you could switch out those stitches and make it whatever you want it to be. Just before I end the video, I want to give a extra honorable mention to Ellie and Mac pattern. And the workwear bundle is just your basics. It's what you actually need to create workwear for yourself, including a blazer and slacks and all of those sorts of things, which is definitely this aesthetic. So that's the Dark Light Academia capsule wardrobe completed with all the patterns that you need that are size inclusive to create your own perfect aesthetic style. Um, if you want to see more of my content, I've got some links coming up. Also make sure that you like and subscribe and do all of that kind of stuff whatever they say. Um, and yeah, anyway, see you later.